Hey guys, it's Betty here, and today I'm going to introduce you guys to my dog, Wheeler. You might know who he is already. Um, he's been in some of my other previous videos. There's some really old videos, uh, maybe a couple that he's been in. And I've actually mentioned him in some of my videos as well, I believe. But I've never actually introduced him and told you guys about him. So I decided, why not this week? I'll show you guys to him and introduce him and just tell him about him. Like tell you guys about him. So first off, his name is Wheeler, as I said before, and he is a Shih Tzu. Yes, I said Shih Tzu. It's his breed, and um, he is 12 years old. His birthday is on September 1st, and he's like the whole package. He's literally the nicest dog you'll ever meet. Um, he's he rarely ever barks. He only barks when someone rings a doorbell, and that's like one bark every single time someone rings the doorbell. It's, it's, he's, uh, he doesn't shed and, because he's hypoallergenic and he's just, he's a lap dog obviously and he's my baby. He is so sweet and I love him to death and um, actually I, I haven't like personally had him for my whole entire life because I met him when I was three and a half. My mom met him when he was a puppy and my dad got him when he was a puppy. So. I, I don't know if that makes any sense, but he he was a runt of his litter. My dad, when he went to the kennel to buy Wheeler, um, he saw the Shih Tzu dogs, and uh, all of Wheeler's brothers and sisters were at the like at her, like in the corner by their parents, I guess. And then Wheeler comes trotting along and sits at my dad's feet and I thought that was so cute. My dad keeps telling me the story. I'm like, oh that's so sweet. And that's how my dad chose Wheeler is because Wheeler basically chose my dad. Wheeler became my dad's like friend, I guess, or like someone to just keep him company when my dad was driving. Like he was a truck driver so um, he needed some company so Wheeler was his company and Wheeler was the best dog ever. He never peed in the truck. He always peed outside. And I, I don't know. I guess he potty trained himself. And uh, eventually, my dad gave Wheeler to my grandma. Um, I'm not entirely sure why he gave him to my grandma, but Wheeler was still a puppy when he went to my grandma's. And uh, then my mom and my dad got married, and then Wheeler ended up living with my parents again. And then when I moved to America, when I was three and a half, I met Wheeler, and apparently I wasn't as connected to him as I am now. I'm, I'm guessing it's because of the, I, I wasn't as connected to him and like loving to him as I am now since at the time. Like since, I, I've been here for um, like 12, 11, 12 years. So I guess those 11, 12 years, uh, made me love Wheeler so much more than I did when I first met him, and so I, right now I would do anything to like protect Wheeler. I guess um, to I would do anything for Wheeler. He is my baby, and he, I love him to death. I, I literally do. And he sleeps with me every single night, and he snores like crazy. Um, actually, for the past 11 or 12 years since he's been sleeping in my bed and snoring, I've gotten so used to it, I just don't even pay attention to it anymore. Um, he is so spoiled and getting fatter every single day. Um, and and he's, just, he's just an all-around really, really good dog. Um, what else do I have to say about you? He has a lazy eye, like right here. I don't know, I'm not entirely sure if it's lazy eye, but it's different from his left eye. And he was born with it, but the veterinarian said it's, there's nothing to worry about. I mean, it's uh, it's not bothering him any, so it shouldn't uh, be like a big problem. And uh, let's see, anything else interesting about my dog? Um, a few years back, he actually got surgery um he got surgery on his stomach to get rid of this like fat tumor and it's actually growing back um he had surgery on his arm for something i'm pretty sure it was a fat tumor as well and then he got nine teeth pulling out because they were going bad and when i when i found him not found him but when i went back to the vet um 
I saw Wheeler and he looks he just looks so scared. I'm like, oh Wheeler, and I started to cry because I felt so bad for him. But he's okay now. Are you okay now? He's you're okay now. And all he wants to do is eat and sleep and go to the bathroom. That's all he wants to do. But he's still such a good dog. He plays sometimes. And I don't know, he's just so nice and I love him so much I can't express how much love I have to this dog and who knew you could be connected to an animal so much one fourth of a July Wheeler got lost um, I guess my mom thought that he got outside somehow and we could not find him and uh, she was crying she was well I was little at the time and I didn't really like, as I said before, I wasn't as connected to Wheeler as I am now, and I didn't cry, apparently. And, uh, we were looking all over the place for Wheeler, calling his name. My mom was so upset, and we thought we lost him, because it, since it's 4th of July, he got scared from the fireworks, I guess. And, uh, we thought that he ran off because of the fireworks. And we were like, oh my god, where's Wheeler? And my mom just keeps expressing, like, whenever she tells me this story, she's like, I was so upset, I was so scared, and I, I would be scared too if I knew what was going on. I feel like when I was little, I wouldn't know what's going on. So, we ended up going back home, and then we went down, I don't know how we ended up going downstairs in the basement and finding him, but my dog, he went down in the basement and hit, not hit, hid like behind the washing machine and I'm like oh my gosh I told my I don't remember this in real life but I remember this from my you now I'm hearing my mom tell me the story and I'm like how did he why would he go behind the washer and why would he go down to the basement anyway because Wheeler hates the basement he hated the basement in our old house he didn't want to go down there and he wouldn't go down there by himself and uh, so he ended up hiding behind the washing machine and giving my mom and my parent, like my dad and me a scare and we ended up I'm like oh at least he's okay at least he's not outside and actually lost but that's an interesting thing about Wheeler that was a uh, quite a hectic night according to my mom and um, so that's that's about it but my dog and there's nothing really interesting about him now like I mean he's just I don't know he's the best dog ever are you a best dog ever oh, oh. Best dog ever. Best dog ever. Mwah. So thank you guys for watching this video this week. Uh, I oh, he wants to go down. Okay, let's just lay down there. Okay. So I have one more thing to show you. Here is a picture of Wheeler when he's a puppy. I'm sorry if you can't see very well. I'm trying to show as much as possible since uh, I cannot see screen on my camera but hopefully you guys can see it's right in front of my face you guys should see um, it's him at my grandma's house and it's him as puppy and I, I just look at it and I'm like I can't believe I haven't like met him when he was a puppy I'm so upset because he looks so cute so anyways again thank you for watching this video I hope you liked it please click that like button if you did and I'll see you guys next week for a new video bye